What you guys got another video here for you on how to back up and restore the Windows credentials and also web credentials in Windows 10. Now these have been around for a long time but basically what it is is all your installed information for your passwords and stuff like that stored inside uh, the uh, credential manager. So if you want to go to this location right click and go run and then paste in that command which I posted up earlier. I'll leave this in the video description. This will open up the stored usernames and passwords for all the stuff on your computer. So whether it be your NAS drive, whether it be your Skype or any of that sort of stuff, it'll all be uh, stored inside here. You can edit it here, you can add, you can remove, you can back up and you can restore. It's very simple and easy to do. And this is uh, the quick option you can back it up in this method here. I'll show you the other one, which is the credential manager, which is in control panel. Go into control panel, and then what you want to do here is go inside user accounts. Inside here, you should see an area called credential manager, and you've got the option to go into uh, the Windows credentials or web credentials, depending on what you want to back up or what you want to add. So let's dive into the Windows credentials here, and you can see they're all nicely listed out here and we've got the option to back up and restore our credentials from here. So if you've got a NAS drive or something like that here, which will have all your login details, so if you forgot your login details, they will be listed inside here, and you can also edit them, remove them, or update them, or whatever it is you want to do, back them up and restore them. So this is where you can get all your uh, credentials for your Windows operating system. And uh, so if you want to do that, you can click on the edit here, or you can remove it, it's entirely up to you. So let me just quickly show you uh, the backup process here. So just open up the backup for whatever you like, and then browse to the location where you want to store your logon credentials, and uh, you just have to go to a folder on your desktop, or whether it's on a USB flash drive, or wherever it is you want to store it on, that is the location where you can uh, just browse to, so just hit the browse button. I'm going to put mine into this passwords folder here. And of course, all you need to do here is give it a name. I'll just quickly give this now as just for quickness. There we go. And uh, once you do save, it's going to ask you to put in your login details. So it will need a password. So you have to push Control Alt Delete on the keyboard. And another window will pop up with a black background. It won't let me record that part of the screen, but that will pop up and just give it a password. And once you've given it a password, that um, username and passwords for whatever it is you've backed up will be stored in that location and it's a great way to uh, back up and restore all your usernames and passwords okay on your windows system so i've done that already you won't be able to see that because it won't record that part of the screen it just sort of uh, in the control delete stage so you won't see it it just goes black but um that's what you're going to get so let's take a look at the actual folder itself and you should now see there's a file in there called NAS and it'll have a load of passwords in there. There we go. So there is our file here. And of course it'll have a password on there, but if you want to restore that you can do. All you need to do here is just go to the location and uh, click on restore and then you can restore that if you want to. You can also add in a generic credential or you can add in uh, a Windows credential or you can add in other types of credentials it's entirely up to you so you can manually add these in by just putting in the network address or internet address or whatever it is you want to put in the top there give it a username and password and that will be added in to your uh, credential management so you can also see here if you want to restore you just go to the restore area and then click on restore and go to the uh, passwords that you've uh, backed up and then you can click on open and it will then ask for the password and it will restore all of those in there I'm not going to do it because they're all set in place and I'm okay with those but basically that's how you can back up and restore all your credentials inside your credential manager it's very simple and easy to do now if you've also got your web credentials here they will be stored in the web credential area now another option is is not to use the uh, credential manager for windows and use something like lastpass now lastpass is very secure and it also encrypts and everything else so it's it's an option that is available to you it's free to use and it's a very uh, worthwhile 
addition to your security uh, layer so I would definitely look into adding something like LastPass and you can store all of these passwords not on your computer but onto a USB flash drive so it keeps all those passwords safe and encrypted and no one will ever get your passwords it's very simple and easy to do if you want to see more about that let me know in the comments section anyway that's about it for this video my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Thanks again for watching guys and have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.